Amid the final round of discussions for the joint development of the Indo-French 125 kN class engine, latest reports indicate that India has also pitched with France to become a hub for maintenance repair and overhaul for Rafale fighter jets, and this Indian proposal comes at a time when the government is focusing on local manufacturing of defence equipment. Dassault Aviation is already sourcing engine doors and pylons of Rafale from India for the global export market. And with Dassault signing multiple export deals of Rafale aircraft, the Dassault Reliance Aerospace Limited facility will play a very crucial role as part of its global supply chain, and also in upgradation and service of the Rafale aircraft in the region. The DRDO's Young Scientist Laboratories has released a tender for the development of electric-powered tandem wing unmanned aerial vehicle, and the scope of work includes design development and testing of a foldable wing UAV with composite airframe, development and testing of pneumatic launchers, that includes both catapult launchers and canister launchers, and the manufacturing of final version of the UAV. The UAV will have radar absorbent coating, and is expected to have an endurance of 60 minutes, and will be used for surveillance and suppression of enemy air defense systems. The DRDO seeks that the delivery of five UAV and launchers must be completed within six months from signing of contract. The Indian and Russian officials have reached an understanding on the purchase of 12 Su-30 and 21 MiG-29 fighter jets, and the Indian Air Force has conveyed to the Defence Ministry, that the deal is now ready to be signed, and if it is delayed or deferred now, the whole process will have to be restarted again, that could result in cost escalations. The Air Force also told the Defence Ministry, that there is really no alternative for the MiG-29 and Su-30, and the purchase are only to augment the existing fleets, and are important as the Air Force is facing a steep fall in its fighter strength. At a time when a scale model of futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft is undergoing air intake studies, the Aeronautical Development Establishment has released a tender for the supply of four units of integrated flight control computer for the futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft, as well as qualification testing of integrated flight control computer line replaceable unit. One integrated flight control computer will be used for quality testing, while three units will be of flight-worthy standard. The development team has decided to involve a leading vendor as a development partner along with domain specialists and companies to carry out the activities. The RDO's Defence Bioengineering and Electromedical Laboratory has released a tender for the procurement of 16 units of 25 kg for CDF thrusters, and 4 units of 2 kWh battery pack, that will be used for the indigenous jet suit being designed for the Indian Armed Forces, and 26 additional units of thrusters and 4 units of battery pack will be procured later. Tender documents reveal that in the current configuration, the jet suit will have six CDF thrusters with a collective thrust of 150 kg force, and there will be a throttle control switch for controlling the speed of the thrusters. The battery management system and monitoring systems will send the data related to battery status temperature and power consumption to the helmet-mounted display. The wearable jet suit will be able to lift off a human pilot weighing 70 kg and an additional payload of 20 kg from ground, attain desired forward speed to reach a particular location and land safely. The first batch of Chinese-built J-10C fighter jets have arrived at Pakistan Air Force's Camera Air Base, that has been procured as a response to the Indian acquisition of French Rafale F-3R fighter jets. Pakistani media has reported, that the Rafale has a top speed of 1,900 km per hour, whereas the J-10C offers 2,400 km per hour. Airbus has selected India's Larsen and Tubro Technology Services Limited as a global preferred engineering supplier, and has awarded Larsen and Tubro with a multi-year contract under which L&T will provide best-in-class technology and digital engineering solutions to the Airbus Group. 
The Indian Coast Guard has launched an auxiliary barge, which is 36.96 meter long with a draft of 1.85 meter. It will enhance Coast Guard operations by extending logistics support such as cargo ship fuel, aviation fuel and fresh water to the Coast Guard ships deployed in the sea. The Hansa NG indigenous flying trainer developed by National Aerospace Laboratories has successfully completed the sea level trials, and it covered a distance of 140 nautical miles in 1.5 hours. Few more flights will be conducted and type certification by Directorate General of Civil Aviation is likely to be completed by April, followed by manufacturing with public or private industry.